All right, what's up, everybody? Dustin here with the Game Artist Masters Academy, and today I'm going to be walking you through setting up the GPU light mass plugin in Unreal Engine so we can get faster light bakes uh, with the GPU instead of the CPU. Remember, this scene is free for you to download. Link will be in the description below, and let's get started. All right, so the first thing I wanna check is how long it took for us to build the lighting, and it took us about 300 seconds almost, okay? This is uh, roughly, you know, five minutes. So that's with the CPU light mass, and our world settings under light mass are such. We've got uh, static level lighting scale set to 0.5, the uh, indirect and the skylight bounce is set to 10, our indirect lighting quality set to two, and our indirect lighting smoothness set to around 0.5. We've checked on using ambient occlusion. We've unchecked compressed light maps. Our lighting quality is set to production. And again, it took, you know, roughly five minutes. So we're going to drastically speed this up with the GPU light mass plugin. So let's go ahead and enable that now. So the first thing I need to do is go to my settings and we're going to go to our plugins. Okay, so I'm just going to type in GPU and we'll see this GPU light mass and we'll enable it here. It's gonna say it needs to restart, but hold off on that because we've gotta do some other things first. So let's just close that out and let's open up the settings, project settings. So this does require an RTX card, um, an NVIDIA RTX card. So let's go ahead and type in ray tracing and let's enable ray tracing. Next, we're gonna to need to change our default uh, RHI. So just type in RHI and then we're gonna scroll down. And under here, platforms, windows, the default RHI, uh, we're gonna to set to DirectX 12. Next, we're gonna type in virtual texture and we need to enable virtual texture support. And then once that's enabled, we can enable the virtual texture for our light maps. Once this is set, we can go ahead and close all this stuff down and we can restart our engine. Okay, so with the engine restarted, we see that our lighting's kind of messed up and we've got the preview there. So let's go ahead and let's build our lighting. Uh, now, when we go to build lighting though, we see that we have this GPU light mass. So let's go ahead and I'm just gonna pull this off and dock it over here. And let's just go ahead and build the lighting. Okay, so there it is. The lighting is built and this took 23.5 seconds, okay, which is a lot faster. Um, so a couple things we've got uh, over here, we can uh, show progress. That's gonna give us that little progress bar there. We've got the mode, we've got uh, full bake or bake only what you see. So if we wanna set this to bake only what we see and we're like trying to troubleshoot a spot, maybe right here, we can go ahead and, and hit build and uh, let's stop that. I hit the wrong build button. So do be careful not to hit the old build button. Rather, we've got to hit the uh, build lighting button over here. So we'll hit this and it's building the lighting for our current view. Uh, if I move it, we'll see that it will add the things that are within my, my window. And basically when I'm ready, uh, I just want to hit save and this will save it and we'll see that the lighting outside of this viewport is unfinished. We'll also hit cancel because it's going to try to build all the lighting for everything. There we go. So this was all the stuff that was kind of uh, within the view uh, when I was doing the only what you see. And uh, we do need to kind of cancel out of that. So go to lighting only and we can see that none of that stuff got built. Some of it got built at a much higher quality. That's because I kind of let it go for a little bit longer in this viewport. If I just kind of whipped around, it kind of built some of that lighting, but didn't get it completed. So yeah, so that's great for troubleshooting but we're going to leave it to full bake. Uh, denoise on completion, or we could set it to none. So this will not denoise it. So let's go ahead and build and see what that looks like. Again, I hit the wrong button. Make sure you don't hit the wrong button. Okay, so that took 17 seconds. And the way that I'm able to tell how long it took is I've got the output log up. It's actually uh, underneath my uh, the video uh, right here. But if I pull this output log out, we can uh, scroll down to the bottom and we'll see that the GPU light mass total time uh, is going to be right there. So this has 17 seconds. And again, that was without denoising. Okay, so this is what it'll look like without uh, denoising, which is uh, not that great, right? So denoising is definitely something that you're going to want to leave on. And whether it's on completion or or during the interactive preview, that's kind of up to you. I think on completion is, is fine. GI samples. So getting the quality up uh, as we raise the GI samples, the total number of rays is going to be raised as well. And uh, the uh, stationary 
very light shadow samples here is the number of samples for stationary shadows, which are calculated and stored separately from uh, the GI. Um, two settings that we are going to want to check on irradiance caching. I said is it should be enabled with interior scenes to achieve a more physically correct global illumination. Uh, so we are going to check that on and this use first ray bounce, uh, use first bounce ray um, guidance. All right. And this, um, if irradiance caching is enabled, the first ray guiding will search the hemisphere over each first bounce sample to find the brightest directions to weigh the rest of the samples towards. Okay. So again, for the interiors, we're going to want to have this, uh, both of these checked on uh, irradiance caching quality, the number of samples per irradiance cache cell. So raising this up, will uh, raise that. And yeah, so slow mode speed, full speed, light map tile pool side. Um, all right. So slow mode, if I have this off, if I have a uh, real time turned off and uh, I try to get into the habit of hitting control R because that way I won't hit the wrong button. So if, um, or rather we can press control R to turn real time on and off. Okay. So now when I hit build lighting with real time off, we'll see that we are in slow mode and we can see the uh, virtual texture uh, kind of power cells here uh, lighting up. And as we move the camera around, it's going to try to, to target the area that we're in, but we'll see this kind of happening. So this is good kind of debug view mode uh, where you can see uh, possible issues uh, before you're even done uh, building. This is obviously slow. Uh, so I'm just going to hit control R and we're going to go into fast mode and we're going to get to that like 17 to 20 second uh, bake, which uh, for this scene, it's just quicker to just bake it completely and see if there's any errors rather than using that slow mode. But slow mode is there. OK, so there it is uh, looking pretty good. If we go to lit, uh, it's just we're getting that quality that we were getting before with the CPU light mass, except this is taking like no time at all. Uh, I'm going to hit it one more time. This says that that took 52 seconds. That's because we started off in slow mode. All right. So there we are. 29 seconds this took. Um, all right. So there we are. It took 29 seconds. We got the same quality as that five minute build uh, using the CPU light mass. Um, this thing is great. And you can just iterate uh, really quickly with this. We could throw in uh, different HDRIs. If we open up our material instance here, we go to our HDRIs. Uh, we could also go to our skylight. And yeah, we could just throw in different HDRIs hit build and see the difference virtually instantly. All right, so there you have it. We went through setting up the GPU light mass and getting exponentially faster build times using the GPU light mass over the CPU light mass. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If this video did help you out, I'd appreciate you hitting the like button and uh, I'll see you in the next one.